example is number 4D. This is perhaps the most complicated of the examples we're going to do. So we're going to call this the chain rule massacre for obvious reasons. We're going to use the chain rule to differentiate. Oh, what does number 4 say, Naomi? What does number 4 say? <laughs> Now, everyone in YouTube land is going to think that no one pays attention to me. <laughs> you now, lucky you, Naomi, it doesn't say with respect X, so you're right. That's what number four says. It's not the same as any of the other questions. And the function is f of t equals sine squared of cos of t. Sine squared of cos of t. How do we differentiate this one? By the way, this is not the last example, the one you've all been waiting for. This is two or three before the last one. Chain rule? Yes, we have to use the chain rule because this is not a t. This, this is some function of t. So we have to use the chain rule. But basically, what is this function? Is it, is it a product, a quotient, power of function? Not a product. Sine by itself is meaningless, so sine squared. This is not a product of two functions. This is? Basically, not a product. Power. power, yes, sorry, the power of a function. The basic function is f of t equals, actually this is, the, this is a triple composite function you might say because if I work backwards, but this is gonna be f of g of h of t. Huh? Sine squared on its own is not the Well, basis. we're going to do it one step at a time. The inner function, the, the innermost function, h of t, is cos t. You could think of that, first of all, as being plugged into g of t, which is sine t. And then you can think of that as being plugged into what function? Not so easy, maybe. Uh, x squared. Well, we don't have x here, we have t. Very good, Karim. t squared. If you plug this into here, and then plug that into here, so this is the composite of a composite function. So the chain rule would be, we want to find df dt, right, the derivative with respect to t. So this is not in your notes. df dg, dg dh, dh dt. Hey, did you see me catch that? Dale got it on video. I caught the chalk before it landed. Okay, what do we, so we have to work this out. When I do it, I don't write this down. I don't even think of this. I just take the derivative. Um, the 2 comes to the front, and it turns into a 1. So it's 2 times the sine of cos t. I'm going to have to erase this to make room for the rest of the solution. Don't erase your notes. Only the teacher gets to do that. And this becomes a one here, if you want to put a one there. But this is not a t, this is the sine of cos of t. So we have to take the derivative of the sine of cos of t, which itself is a composite function. So we have to multiply by the derivative of sine, which is cosine. Cos well, this is sine of cos t, so this is cos of cos t. That's the derivative of that before we do the last step, which is the derivative of that. What's the derivative of cos t? I think we said it. Negative sine t. I think we said it three or four times there, except we didn't have t, we had theta or x. That's it. So the 2 is a constant. Sine of cos of t is df dg, dg dh is cos of cos of t, and dh dt is minus sine t. That's it. But you can't leave it like that. You have to simplify it. I'm going to go up because I ran out of room down here. So don't forget to bring the minus sign to the front. So minus 2. And we really can't simplify a whole lot here. All I can simplify is the cos of well, I can't. Anything. All I can do is bring the minus sign to the front. Now let's 
put the sine of t next because it's the more simple of the three functions. And then I'll just put sine of cos of t and cos of cos of t last. You can't factor out. Uh, can you make it like too close to it? No, you can't. This is the cos of something. This is one function. You can't factor out the cos t from here or from here. You can't factor out the sine because those are totally different functions. Well, they're related, but they're not the same. They're not common factors. So if you look at the back and bottom of the sheet, it says minus 2 sine of cos, cos of cos, and then sine t. So they didn't juggle them like I did. Thank you very much, Dale. That's the change.